You're just wasting time with that contraption. There, it is finished. Now I will show you, Professor. I'll show the whole world. Hello? 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 Oh, shucks. Another failure. Well, back to the old driving boy. And now, for the final chapter of the Pickles of Perline. As you recall, last time, Perline had discovered the garbage dump hideout of that dirty polluter, the Mantle Messer. By a foul ruse, he has turned the tables on Perline and holds her captive in his sub-dump dungeon where he is piping in smoggy air. And even as he is pumping in polluted water, he has set off a ten-ton garbage bomb directly over our heroine's head. Meanwhile, Archibald Andrews, wealthy, rich kid, and all-around good guy, <laughs> arrives on the scene to engage Mantle the Messer in hand-to-hand -hand combat. What a great day. No, big asshole, no. <laughs> That's what you think. I'm going to catch you with secret weapon number 23, the old rocket-powered man grabbing ship. Secret Weapon 52. Ooh, fly down the flagpole, Trick. And Chucky sees those hamburgers. Whoop, here he is now. And here I go. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, but then you might want to try number 41. The old giant swing shot trick. 
When it comes to catching your man, this trick gives a snap. <laughs> Water on the brain. <laughs> Pies are a no no. Nobody said anything about tomatoes. Mosa, uh, did you know that exercise kills germs? Yeah, but how do you get them to exercise? <laughs> Mr. Weatherby. Moose just pulled away from the curb at 50 miles an hour. So what? He forgot his car! Oh, I'll forget that joke if you will. <laughs> I think I have lost a memory. How long have you had it? How long have I had what? <laughs> I'll have you know I have a good head on my shoulders. Yes, you have a point there. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Reg, how about sharing the peanut? Okay. Here's half the empty shells. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, what a swell guy. One thing about Reggie, he doesn't have any enemies. That's right. All his friends hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could see myself as others see me. Nah, you'd never believe it. My dog's name is Ginger. Does Ginger bite? No, Ginger snaps. <laughs> Why does rain fall? Because it can't come down the ladder. You'd be surprised. Moose was 12 years old before he learned to wave bye-bye. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dot. Dot who? Dot a dime for an ice cream cone. <laughs> Just desserts. You swallowed a spoon? How do you feel? I can hardly stir. Hey, Reg, what is green and dangerous? Uh, I give up. A frog with a hand grenade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ribbit, uh, ribbit. That joke makes me want to croak. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get the ketchup stains out of your shirt. Like I always do, with a scissors. <laughs> cut, cut, cut! And now, under the Funhouse Big Top, backed by popular demand, the Flying Flops! Presenting Reggie the Rocket and the Mighty Moose! Our intrepid acrobats are ascending to their lofty perches from where they will perform the amazing flying flip lock. This stunt depends on the sure hands of Mighty Moose. Well, could I let go now, Red? It takes real talent to be as dumb as you are. <laughs> Thanks, Big. Get off me and get back up the ladder. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, Reggie the Rocket will perform his daring triple double forward somersault with a reverse backflip without a net. such a crumb. And then, Diary, just before class, Archie told me I was the coolest girl he ever met. Betty, you really leave me cold. <laughs> Later on, Diary, Archie confessed that I'm his number one flame. <laughs> Betty, nobody burns me up like you do. Then, Diary, Archie promised that this winter he's not going to date anyone but me. 
It'll be a cold day when I take you out again. And that was my day, diary. Till next time, I remain truthfully yours, Teddy. <laughs> Here's the star of our show, the giant Goodbox. Did anybody ever tell you how great you play? No. Then where did you get the idea? Um, how do you like this, Juggy? Oh, don't worry. A lot of people have no talent. <laughs> Are you crying because your song is sad? No, because I have chap lips. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, listen, Chucky, I'm gonna sing you a love song. Yeah, what did I ever do to you? For a real giant jukebox hit. about you getting the leading role in our musical. Yeah, I'm going to be the usher. You know, I got my own three-piece combo. Sure, an organ, a cup, and a monkey. That Betty, she doesn't monkey around. <laughs> Tell me, Jughead, does my singing boil your blood? Yeah, it makes it boil. <laughs> <laughs> i 
Sam. I have a brother in Kokomo. I have a brother everywhere I go. We're one big family and our daddy's in the sky. Just one big family, don't you make your brother cry. We're one big family and our daddy's in the sky. Just one big family, don't you make your brother cry. I saw a brother in the jam, I gave him a helping hand. Though I never knew his name, I'm his brother just the same. We're one big family and our daddy's in the sky. Just one big family, don't you make your brother cry. One big family and our daddy's in the sky. Just one big family, don't you make your brother cry. We're one big family and our daddy's in the sky. Just one big family, don't you make your brother cry. We're one big family and our daddy's in the sky. Just one big family, don't you make your brother cry. Just one big family, don't you make your brother cry. Miss Grundy, what are you doing? Well, I'm rehearsing. My recital will start at 11 o'clock sharp. And will end at 11.30 dull. <laughs> Music on the tennis court? Uh uh, because of the racket. <laughs> Party, you know, everybody's been egging me on to sing. <laughs> now they're egging you off the stage. <laughs> I ran a hundred yards in five seconds. Impossible. The world record is over nine seconds. I know a shortcut. <laughs> There's no shortcut to this next hit on the giant jute box called My Clinging Guitar. Thank you. 
Cheers, fun house.